beat it, I think what I beat it, I think what I beat it. What is going on my brodies? It is Andrew Pierre here of Beta AT Production and Publishing bringing you guys a brand new YouTube video. In this YouTube video I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, structure your beat after you have it in the loop or like whenever you, you know, do all your looping the channel rack and you need to structure it so it's an actual beat. That's what we're going to do. I got this uh, Kodak Black and Gucci Mane type beat and it's about let me see how long it is yeah it's about a whole 16 uh bars or eight bars because we're in double time i'm gonna go ahead and play it for you guys and show you So that's what we're working with. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, paste it. So that's what it looks like in our channel rack. So when we are laying out our beat, we wanna have an intro, chorus, and a verse, and then maybe a bridge. So I'm gonna go ahead and split all the elements because currently all the beats, uh, elements, uh, VSTs, instruments, and drums are all in one channel. So let's go ahead and split this up, go up here, split by channel so now I just separated everything so let's go ahead and move all this stuff down so it's all separate all in scroll we could pull it out a little bit more all right so here we go now i'm going to control a select everything and control b control b control b so now we just uh did a whole bunch of duplicating so now it's all laid out over there i'm going to select all this delete I'm going to grab our slice tool, slice right here. I'm going to cut that. I'm going to make this come in a little bit sooner. And I'm also going to trim this bell. So now we come over here. So this is, I'm going to do Alt T to show you how I am doing the layering. This is our course or our hook. I'm not gonna have that playing. We'll do it like this. So you can see how I'm just uh, cutting different elements out to kind of like make it a little bit different. So it's not, you know, just one whole loop playing all the way through. We want to kind of add some uh, changes, diversification, shit like that. It's good shit. So I'm going to select, copy over that course again, control A, shift everything up, verse two. Now, most of the time, you guys will probably be only having up to here of your uh, melody made in your channel rack. Because this is uh, all this. If we scroll over here, we could see that's not highlighted. So that's why I said we did about eight bars of the loop. Which is pretty much like the whole course, as you can see. Like, it's just that whole thing in there. But essentially, everything would be chopped up like this normally. But, yeah, it doesn't really matter. You, you guys can see how we did it.
So we got a eight bar chorus, 16 bar verse, um, verse one and verse two. What I might do is we're gonna cut all of our drums out for this section. We're just gonna have it go. So I'm just using a slice tool to slice up all these little sections. I'll drag this over here. Then I'm going to shift E to get the select tool and select some of these elements for our outro. Just so we can So now I'm going to grab our master plugin or our fader now our plugin go over here copy paste pull it down pull this down because now it's going to fade it out save and this is our beat uh now you can add effects during those transitions so it's like a little bit more blend in put your tag in the beginning and you got the whole beat and it's not just a basic loop. Now, we could also, you know, make something unique, change up the melody. We can change certain elements around. But that's how I would go from my channel rack into the playlist after I have the loop. And yeah, uh, intro, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, outro. Super. This is Andrew. If you guys want the drums or the software or laptop that I use in this beat, you guys can go to the description. All the links for that is there. And I'll see you guys later. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment.